Before jumping into the video, I wanted to make a quick disclaimer that I did film this on October 17th, 2019, so long before the coronavirus pandemic had happened. So no, I did not recently go on a plane to Disneyland. At the time of publishing this video, Disneyland is still closed. So just wanted to make sure that that was abundantly clear before starting the video. Hi guys, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Welcome back to my channel. I'm currently in the car right now on the way to Disneyland, but I did an entire makeup video while I was on the plane because I really didn't have any other chance to get ready. So I hope you guys enjoy this plain makeup tutorial and let's get started. As usual, I am starting my routine off with my primer. I'm using the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. And I apologize in advance, the lighting is not gonna be good in this video. Um, a lot of people on the plane were still asleep, so I had to use just barely any light to do this. But I'm just priming my face and then afterwards I'm setting that with a setting spray to really lock in that primer. And then I'm going with my foundation. I'm using two foundations, both the Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation and the Hourglass Stick Foundation as well. I had recently fake tanned, self-tanned, and so um, my skin was kind of an in-between these two shades. That's why I'm mixing them and I also love the formula of both. Picking up my Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush, I'm just going to blend that in all over my face and really meld those two foundation shades together. After that, I'm going to conceal under my eyes. This is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer. It has been my favorite concealer for such a long time, and I'm taking a damp beauty sponge just to blend that out. I had previously dampened my sponge before getting on the plane just to make sure it was ready to go when I was ready to film this makeup tutorial. To set my under eye area, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury. This is their Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. It is in the shade one, and I'm taking that on a Sephora featherweight brush. It was a foundation brush, and I'm just kind of stamping that under my eye just to really set that. I like using a uh, pressed powder before going in with any loose powder as a way to really lock in my face, especially if I'm wearing makeup for a long period of time. After that, I am taking the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder, and I'm going to start lightly setting my face using that powder. I found that if I am going to be wearing my makeup all day long, it really helps if I use a couple different methods to set my face. So I will use a couple different powders. After that, I will take the Thrive Cosmetics. This is their filtered effects powder. And I will lightly set my face using this powder just to make sure it's not tacky at all from the cream foundation before going in with bronzer and blush. For bronzer, I'm using the Hoola Light from Benefit and also the regular Hoola as well. I'm first going in with Hoola Light as almost like a base. If you guys don't have multiple bronzers, you don't need to do this step, but I really love the way the Hoola Light feels on my skin. And I feel like it's just not dark enough to use by itself to really make a noticeable contour. So I will first go in with the Hoola Light as like a base and then after that I will go in with the Hoola bronzer from Benefit and I'm really concentrating this along where I would normally use a contour so along my cheeks my forehead and I will also contour around my nose area as well for blush I'm using one of my favorites this is the NYX amber blush and I'm just placing that right along my cheeks so kind of starting at the apples of my cheeks and then brushing that upwards to do more of a lifted look. I will tend to use a little bit more blush than normal, especially if I know I'm gonna be wearing my makeup all day long because throughout the end of the day and actually even just like an hour after applying blush, I feel like it definitely fades a lot. So I'm going a little heavy handed, but knowing it will fade. I will also apply a highlighter as well. This is the Balm's Mary Luminizer and I'm concentrating that on my nose. I'm using my fingers because the oils in my fingers kind of warm up the highlight and really make it pop more. So I'm putting that right on my nose, on my lips, basically the high points of my face. And using the same blush brush, I'm using that to lightly apply the highlight just to give a really nice glowy look. I'm applying this lip gloss from Iconic London. Hi Joel, I think he forgot that I was filming. Um, first, before I put on my lipstick later, so this will not be part of the finished look, but basically it's just to hydrate my lips in the meantime. After that, I will go in and start to do my brows. So I'm first picking up the Thrive Cosmetics. This is their Infinity Waterproof Brow Aligner in the shade Serena. And I'm using that basically just to outline my brows. I feel like when my brows are more sparse, I really love to use multiple products to make my brows look more natural and look like they have more definition. So I'm starting this off by outlining my brows or just kind of filling in the outline that I have thanks to microblading. And then after that, I am taking the Urban Decay Brow Blade just to kind of draw back in some of those hair strokes. Again, just to add some more depth and make my brow hairs look more natural. Before doing my eyeshadow, I am priming my eyes using the Thrive Cosmetics Primer. So first I'm just applying that directly to my eyes and then afterwards I'm going to take my finger just to kind of blend that in and make sure that's smooth all over my eyelid. For eyeshadow today, I am taking the Too Faced 
gingerbread extra spicy palette and I'm taking that shade of vanilla wafers just to start and I'm placing that right underneath my brow bone. After that, I'm going in with the shade Butterscotch. It's kind of like a warm brown shade. I'm really concentrating that in the outer crease of my eye, kind of like in the outer C area as I like to call it, and just running that back and forth. I'm stopping about halfway where my eye is, really concentrating that into the, where, where my eye socket is. Afterwards, I'm picking up some of that shade called Gingerbread Glam. It is a dark brown color really concentrating that towards where my lash line is and the outer portion of my eye. Not going too high with that because I really want to keep that low. To give my lid a hint of color, I am putting on the shade Cookie Cutter on the middle part just to really make that shadow pop and give kind of like a glitter. And once that shade is on, I'm blending out the rest of my shadows just to make sure they're nice and even and smooth. Under my eye, I'm taking the shade Butterscotch first. Again, just to tie in the whole look and just add some color underneath. And then after that, I'm putting the slightest amount of Gingerbread Glam in the outer corner, again, just to kind of match what we have going on in the upper lid. For eyeliner, I'm taking the Thrive Cosmetics Infinity Waterproof Eyeliner. I believe this is their shade Lauren, it's their black shade. And just running that along my lash line before going in with mascara, I'm using the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. For lips today, first I'm using Lip Liner from Thrive Cosmetics. I believe this is their shade Khaki. And then I'm going in with a Too Faced Cosmetics Gingerbread Girl lip liquid lipstick and I made that face because we were about to land it was getting a little bumpy and I was wondering will I actually finish this tutorial before the plane lands and I at this point genuinely had no idea so I was trying to rush through doing my lipstick and then one of the last things I had to do was pop on some false lashes so these are the house of lashes iconic lashes one of my favorites and just applying that with some, I believe that was dual lash glue. It was pretty tricky. I left this in here just so you guys could see. I struggle all the time putting on lashes. I just usually don't keep it in, but especially when you're experiencing some turbulence, putting on lashes is a little bit trickier than usual. Once my lashes are on, I'm popping on some more of that mascara and also spraying my face one last time with setting spray to lock it in and we're good. As you can see, I literally finished this tutorial as we were landing the plane and that means I am now ready to go visit the happiest place on earth. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to go to Disneyland and I will see you in my next video.